In this video, we will demonstrate how quick and easy it is to adjust cutting depth settings needed for a variety of material thicknesses and how to replace the blade if it gets dull. To set the cutting depth, start by creating a label with cutout text or objects. Now, press the print button and the display will indicate which setting your blade should be set to for proper cut depth for your installed material. To verify you are using the proper settings, open your printer cover and look at your cutting blade mechanism. If you need to change it, rotate the yellow knob completely until the proper number is covered up by the tab. You can also make minor depth adjustments to the cutter. If your label fails to weed or separate cleanly, then you may need to make smaller depth adjustments. If you see that the liner peels up along with your cut object when weeding, it means your cut is a little too deep. If when weeding, your cut object pulls off of the liner along with the unused tape, then your cut depth isn't deep enough. To make these types of fine adjustments, press Print and then press Advanced Cut Settings, which gives you the option to press Adjust Depth. On this screen, you can set the cut depth deeper by going this direction, and more shallow by going this direction. Once you set the desired depth, press OK to save your changes. Press Cancel until you are back at the print screen. Press Print and evaluate your results. Occasionally, your blade may get dull, requiring you to replace it. If your cut objects aren't weeding properly and the depth adjustments have not helped, this may be a sign that your blade is dull. To remove the cutter, fully loosen the black knob, slide the blade holder mechanism toward the back of the printer, and lift it out. To replace the blade cutter mechanism, find the flat edge on the side of your replacement mechanism. Drop it into place with the flat edge against the sidewall of the carriage. Simply tighten the black knob until you hear it clicking and your new cutter is ready to use.